Tonight for our throwdown, we're talking one half of the final four. That's Michigan and Syracuse. In the left corner, please welcome, representing the Orange, former pro bowler for the Tennessee Titans from inside a bathroom stall, Keith Bullock. Thanks so much for coming on. In the right no corner, we're an Arizona Cardinal and Michigan alum repping the Wolverines. He appears courtesy of Carson Palmer's funds. That is Jay Feely. Thanks so much for coming on, my friend. Absolutely. Let's get it on. The Orange are well known and successful for baffling defenses with their 2 3 zone. But well, let's be real, man. Is playing zone just a lazy man's D that should only be allowed in 40 and over leagues? Who are you asking? <laughs> Depends on who you're asking. I'm asking you, Keith. Um, That's your school. The, the, the two three zone is the most original form of basketball. It starts at grade school. It's not our fault that Coach Bayheim has perfected it and has, you know, just mastered it in the college game. Now, if you're talking professionally, no. Zone should be allowed in the professional leagues. But look, it's still collegiate sports. So two three zone, baby. We'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> How, Jay, how do you beat a zone, though? You beat a zone with penetration and being able to shoot outside. That's what Michigan yeah. does. Burt penetrates, and then they got the shooters outside. That's what they do. They shoot three. So it's a perfect matchup for a zone. Hey, but Jay, Jim Beheim said it was the best zone he's ever coached. Any credence to that? You know, I, I, they have always the best zone, and they understand it. They know what Beheim preaches. They understand the concept. They have big, rangy guys that can play the zone well that make it hard to shoot. But I think if there is a good matchup for the zone and for the pressure, it's Michigan's team. That is like saying, like, the least dented piece of fruit. Now, fellas, this is great <laughs> X and O talk, but we keep it real around here. So we want to know. We had a debate the other night. We want to know from you guys who has the hotter alumni. Now, Michigan, of course, you've got Lucy Liu, and Syracuse has Vanessa Williams. Keith, who, who can you make the case for? I mean, Lucy Liu is tight, but she's no Miss America, so you know I'm going with Vanessa Williams for the victory. Right. Now, Jay is no, a happily got, married we got man. My wife. My wife blows them all away. Nice. So. Jay is okay. a very fair. smart man. See, I knew Jay would have a politically correct answer for that one. Yeah. Very smart. <laughs> that that one is pretty good. I, you know, I, I, I like good. Keith's good answer. Play, Philly. Good play. <laughs> well, if Vanessa Williams would have stayed out of trouble, maybe Keith would have got more points on that one. So, Keith, <laughs> we want to know, would a linebacker or a kicker make a better basketball player? Mm. Um, you know what? Joe Nedney might be a good basketball player because he's 6'5", but for the most part, kickers don't have the height. So, um, I don't know, but a lot of linebackers aren't too athletic. Just depends on. I'm just gonna go. Well, Danny knows that kickers can golf, but we can't play basketball. Right. <laughs> we we may go. be able to dribble and shoot, but we can't do much right. else. There you go. How good was Scott Bentley? <laughs> he was a good kicker, man. He won us a national title. All right, fellas, let's get right to it. The main event: Who is gonna win the matchup between your two former schools? Keith, I'll let you go first. Come on, man. You know I'm going going with Syracuse. Although I was a Michigan fan growing up, I wanted to, had an opportunity, but I went for Syracuse for a reason. Championships, baby. We're gonna win one. All right, Jay. Okay. Well, what about hey, your case? You didn't, you didn't you didn't win one when you were in college, Keith, but I nah, did. I definitely so did. We're, we're gonna stay with <laughs> Michigan, beating Syracuse, beating my neighbor Donovan McNabb's team. He's gonna have to pay up his bet to me, and uh, you know you see Michigan in that finals back where we belong. Jay, what's the bet between you and Donovan? Well, can you give us the details? I can't, I can't divulge that information. But let's just say it's going to be, I may have him mowing my lawn or something good like that. Wow. <laughs> no, that would gotta, be pretty solid. take a picture of that. Yeah, we'll definitely get we'll that get would be good. That on Unite even better. That would be good. So maybe <laughs> Keith will watch a second time. So <laughs> in judging, I wanted to go with the guy that had a franchise quarterback, and I couldn't find one. So what do you <laughs> You know, I, I know Jay, we're good buddies from golf, and I want to make sure I get an invite to play golf with him again. So I got to go with Jay, and he gets the edge here. <laughs> Keeping it in the country club? Oh, <laughs> hey, you know? That's right. He wants to come out to Whisper Rock. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rob, where do you go? Man, Syracuse is in New York. So oh, here we go. Syracuse, man. I'm going to have to go Syracuse. Shoot. You're the tiebreaker, Reese. You're the tiebreaker. All right, you know what? I, first of all, I want to thank you both for coming on. Jay Feely uh, from Michigan Absolutely. and Keith Book uh, representing Syracuse. Look, I've been a big Michigan guy pretty much for the last uh, three or four days. Yep. And I've been picking them to <laughs> yeah, go all the you way. You go way back. So I'm obviously picking them to win the game. 
So Jay Feely is going to be happy come this weekend. I'm going to make Keith Bullock happy right Jay now because he wants to show <laughs> repping Syracuse and the Tennessee Titans a new champion of the throwdown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that line outside that bathroom is long, Keith. It's time to get They're out there. They're waiting for thing. me to come out. I got to come out as a champion. Oh, you <laughs> are the champion. Congratulations, my man. What are your party words? Um, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I 